consecutive record-breaking weeks for college running backs. Melvin Gordon and Samaje P. Ryan setting single-game marks, but where do they stack up against? A Todd Gurley, Indiana's Tevin Coleman, Pitt's James Conner, Bonnie Bernstein in our Campus Insider Studios welcoming in a special guest to offer his take on this year's crop of running backs. When he left Florida, he owned 58 school records, a unanimous All-American in 1989. Emmett Smith, thanks for stopping by for a couple of minutes. Who's your favorite tailback in the country? Well, you know what? Melvin Gordon has, has, has proven week in and week out, regardless if he's up in Wisconsin playing teams that does not stack up like they do in the SEC. But to be able to produce numbers on a consistent basis, week in and week out, is something extremely, extremely impressive. So I like watching him run the football, and I think he's one of the best running backs in college football today. You look at Gordon's 408 yards against Nebraska, topped by Samaj P. Ryan's day against Kansas. As somebody who's played the position, what stood out most to you about those performances? Uh, one, I was very, I was extremely shocked that uh, Gordon was able to do that against Nebraska. But with that said, uh, uh, on days like that, when when your opposing team is challenging your your defense and you have to stay in the game and run. And, and they're going to give you the football, then you do what you have to do. Uh, and that's what happened to the kid from Oklahoma. Uh, they were in a tight game, and he just kept running and kept running and finally um, busted wide open and, and, and end up breaking a record. When you think about your greatest game, can you imagine how gassed they must have been after rolling up 400 yards? Well, these kids don't seem like they're gassed at all. They seem like they can keep running. When you set, when you set Gordon down in the third quarter, and the kid has already over 400 yards, you, you sit him down because you really don't want to embarrass the other team any further. And so, uh, which is kind of sad when you're talking about the University of Nebraska. But, you know, at the end of the day, these kids are in top-notch shape. And uh, I know one thing, when I rushed at 316 in Gainesville on AstroTurf on a sunny day, I was completely gassed for various reasons. One, it was hot. Two, it was AstroTurf. And so, uh, it was just a different thing in our game. We barely won the game. I think we won the game 24 to 21. College and Pro Football Hall of Famer Emmett Smith. Emmett, thank you so much for the time. Thank you, Bonnie.